Well, there's nothing quite like getting a love letter. Opening up the envelope and finding all those sweet nothings inside, and boy, can they work. <laughs> Remember this scene from the movie Roxanne? Okay, okay, okay. Let's take a look at that letter. I think it's, I think it's really good. Dear Roxanne, how's it going? Want to have a drink sometime? If you do, check this box. <laughs> well, how long did you work on this? Well, t today, you know, uh, since noon. Noon. Chris, that's a very long time. <laughs> Brief and to the point. Well, according to Australia Post, Australians have virtually stopped sending love letters. So why have we seen a decline in something that was once so special? We bring in relationship expert John Aitken with all the answers. Morning to you, John. Good morning. Are we simply using other modes of communication or have we lost the romance gene? No, I think romance is still alive and well, but I, I think with technology, it's so much easier to send messages through texts or emails, so it becomes a lot more common to, to put those uh, sorts of uh, thoughts and ideas across. I think a lot of people, particularly in 2009, when we're so used to instant communication, might feel a little bit embarrassed that they might put something down on paper that is going to live forever, and they might really wonder whether or not it's going to be well received, because that is the difficulty with, with pouring out all of your emotions on paper, isn't it, John? Yes, yes. I think you might have a story there, Lisa, perhaps. So, we'll get to that, John. I, yeah, well, uh, look, the, the, the important thing to remember is that it's good to get those feelings across uh, because a lot of uh, people aren't that great at communicating and this is a, this is a really good method of, of uh, putting down what it is that you want to say to that person which otherwise you might not be able to get out to them. Mm. So you're saying that a text message can't be romantic? Well, I think a text message or an email, I mean, they're useful, they do, they're better than nothing, but really the, the love letter, it's, it's a keepsake, it's something that's really personal and important and, and a person can go back to it and, and you're putting a lot of time and effort into it, so this is the best thing to do if you're looking to be romantic. And they can go back to it and they can go back to it and they can go back to it. Can't exactly. They? Well, for all of us who've forgotten the art of writing a love letter, why don't we go through some of the, the tips that you've got and the first one is... Um, Prioritise presentation. Put effort in. Yeah, that's right. So you're thinking about, uh, you know, the paper that you put it on or the envelope. Uh, you might uh, slide in there a picture or spray a little cologne or perfume on there or whatever it might be. But think about the presentation of it rather than just scribbling something down and handing it over. Mm -hmm. If you haven't got particularly nice handwriting, is it alright to, to type it, do you think? Yeah, yeah, you can get around uh, that way, but, it's, but when they open it up, uh, it's got to be done in a way that uh, has got nice presentation. Okay, um, should you make a rough draft? I oh, think oh, hang on, date and sign the letter. Don't forget to date and sign ah. it. Sounds simple, doesn't it? It's, yeah. uh, but, but let's be honest, you know, if you're rushing through it, you don't date it, you don't sign it, uh, it, it, it doesn't become that, uh, that item that you can refer back to and think, oh, he gave me that on that anniversary, so mm. remember that one. And then the next one you were talking about there, uh, absolutely, is making a rough draft, because mm. spelling comes into it, you don't want to be making spelling mistakes, that sort of stuff. I actually wrote a love letter for my wife the other day, took a couple of rough drafts to do it because I had to think about what it was that I wanted to get across to her. You are romantic, That's you. That's sweet, That's John. lovely. Well, I thought yeah, if I'm going to talk about love letters, I've got to, I've got to go through the process here and make sure that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm uh, familiar with it all. You're a wise man. You've got to keep wooing them. Now, what about, um, you say, outline strengths, feelings and the future? Yeah, so what it I'm saying... Sounds pretty heavy. Well, what I'm saying there is what, what are the strengths of the person? Uh, what is it that sets them apart and also how excited you are about the future with them? Okay. I, I, okay, I'm going to be honest here. I have a love letter out there that wasn't to my husband. It was somebody I was going out with for, for a period of time before I was married. And I just shudder to think that he still got it. Because I, I totally poured my heart out. It was 11 pages long, John. It does. You can go on a bit, can't you? It sounds a little lengthy. And I lengthy. Rough drafted it and everything. But thank yeah. God I dated it. Yeah. That is a good tip. And signed it. Well, I would mm. like, if any, any chance of him sending it in would be great. <laughs> uh, because uh, it sounds like an epic. <laughs> but... No, it was. But, but it's true because there was so much I couldn't say to him. And I thought every time I'm with him, I get tongue-tied. Mm. And um, sounds yeah. charismatic. Can we ask what happened after he received the letter? Yeah, not a lot of communication <laughs> back. I mean, yes, that's got, probably this one's hard work. That's right. That's probably <laughs> another tip boat. I should say is that uh, don't make them too long because then you start to scare them. Yeah, oh, I think that was what the, happened. Yeah. It's a yeah. trap for beginners. What's what's the perfect length? I'm talking well, about a love letter. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> 
I'm glad that you uh, <coughs> qualified that. Look, I think uh, something uh, around about a page would be enough, I think, Lisa. Okay. And don't forget right. also how you deliver it as well. Okay. Make a point of doing something special around it so that it, it makes it important. I needed you in my life about 18 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> life might have turned out very differently, but I'm very happy with how it turned out. Just wish you didn't have that letter. Thank you, John. <laughs> Pleasure. John, good advice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have I got issues, Georgie? No, Lisa, but I think it's probably time to go to a commercial break <laughs> and we can discuss it there. <laughs>